Hello everyone, my name is Sanket and I am going to be your skill menu online trainer for big data and related course. Before jumping to any technical topic, we should understand origin of big data. McKinsey is one of the major consulting firms. McKinsey has stated that if US government would leverage big data, they could save whooping $300 billion annually. So, this has forced US government to commit over $200 million in big data. This will provide huge boost to many students, professionals and entrepreneurs in solving problems that are still there. In return, this will reduce the cost of governments. Welcome to the world of getting rich. Another similar study suggested that Europe could save $1.14 billion in operational efficiency if they could utilize potential data, crunch it and get useful insights from existing data. US government and Indian government have made government data public so that people can download the data and do analysis to give some awesome insights. You can keep a try on those datasets after this course. Let's see what other says about big data. Forbes say big data grows up. Big data power revolution in decision making says Wall Street Journal. The age of big data stated by New York Times. All of them have one common thing to state. Big data, big data, big data. But do we really need to care about big data? Does it affect us in any way? My answer will be yes. Or I would say we are the reason of generating big data. I will take you through big data in our daily life. We people watch over 2.8 billion YouTube videos per day. We own over 5.1 billion cell phones. We send over 11 billion text messages every day, perform almost 5 billion Google searches, and these things keep on doubling every 1.9 years. So after 1.9 years from now, if you check amount of data generated, it will be doubled. Amazing, we are data generating machines. Some of other examples from other prominent data sources. Is Facebook. World creates 40 billion pieces of content like shares, status, messages, etc. that are generated every day on Facebook. Walmart, one of the biggest retail online retail chain in the world, daily handles 1 billion customer transactions. But nowadays the model has changed. Earlier, the companies were generating data and the people were consuming it. Like a newspaper, they generated data and we read them. But now, all of us generate data and it is consumed by us. I would like to mention an example in brief. Consider a person is suffering from flu and he puts it on Twitter. I am suffering from flu, hashtag flu. He is not the only person. 100 others do the same. An analytical team found that hashtag flu is suffering from a city more frequently than other locations. A medical team is sent to check if there is any outbreak of flu in that location. Voila, yes, there is a flu outbreak. So to explain, we generated data on Twitter and its outcome was utilized by us in identifying flu outbreak. There are numerous data sources of big data. Let's discuss about them. From where are, are, are we getting this data? This list includes minuscule number of data sources which are mobile device, scanners, social media, cameras, etc. Big data indeed is a growing torrent. 
to be more specific and if we consider only internet connected devices and out of numerous other data sources we will realize there is exponential growth in 20, 2003 on an average 0 0.08 device were owned by per person in 2015 that number grew to almost 3.5 devices per person and by 2020 this average count will reach to over 6 billion devices per person this will be a huge and will also generate huge number of job opportunities for each of us. To what extent does big data affect your future as an individual? This is another set of number of to showcase that how big data is bringing more investment and how it can save not billions but trillions of dollars. Big data, big data. Enough of that. There are its applications. Do we really use big data? Answer is yes. And these are few of those main applications of big data. Healthcare, traffic control, trading, sales, etc. Each of these use case has many is sorry has made our life more comfortable and safe. The future of big data lies in itself. The industry its own worth around $1 billion and is growing at almost 10% a year which is almost twice of the normal software business as a whole. In Feb 2012, the open source analyst firm Wikibon released the first market forecast for big data. They stated that in 2012, the revenue generated by big data will be $5.1 billion and has estimated that it will grow to $53.4 billion by 2017. The McKinsey Global Institute estimates that data volume is growing 40% per year and will grow 44 times between 2009 and 2020. But this big data also comes with many problems. And so does it require big solution. But there is this major catch storing and analyzing big data. There is this huge crude reservoir in space floating randomly, and we all know it is there. But extracting petroleum out of it is a huge challenge. We need something huge, very unconventional, a framework out of this universe to extract petroleum from crude and bingo we got Hadoop Hadoop has the power to do the impossible a magic wand to extract the hidden treasure of data and bring it in front of us insights, data crunching and much more we will discuss about Hadoop framework how it works and most importantly we will learn about Hadoop further in our coming chapters Happy Hadouping!